Okay, hello everybody. Ken here. We're going to show you what it takes to make these videos. Uh, when you see us filming, we have the small Sonys, and a lot. Of, you also see this thing here. It's a task cam. That's what does the audio for us. Uh, the camera audio is okay, but the task cam, you can make it sig significantly better. So we're going to do Folsom Prison Blues. And that just happens to be the 13th video we took. And what we need to do is now we need to get the audio. Now this is what the audio looks like of the whole show. So we're going to take, I already pre-positioned pre it. That's Folsom Prison Blues. We're going to copy it. And then we're going to create a whole new file so we can make the sound better. So you bring the file in, and there's our stereo track. And then what you want to do now is you want to find where the song actually starts. It's probably in this area. Yeah, and it appears to be that area. Now the volume is down very low because when the video sound comes up it's usually very loud okay so the actual beginning of the song is right here so we have gotta get rid of any extra noise so there's the beginning of the song now we want to find the end of the song, which is going to be somewhere over here. We just minimized it. Okay, so the actual end of the song is right about there, and we'll get rid of any extra noise. Now. The problem with the song is it's definitely not loud enough, but that's why we prefer using the task cam because we can make quiet louder a lot easier than loud quiet. So we're going to bring the song to the beginning. We're going to select the whole song. And we're going to add some bass and treble. And because I've been doing this already, most of the time it's going to be fine with these settings. Because this particular group is, have already done a few songs, so this, this group works, so we test the playback. And it sounds pretty good. Plus up here, we want to make sure that we're not redlining. It sounds pretty good. So we're going to apply it. So there, we have a few peaks. It shouldn't be a big deal. The song is significantly louder. So now we need to save it. We're going to save the project first, just in case something goes wrong. We're going to call it Folsom. And then we need to export it as a usable file so we create mp3s and again we're going to call it Folsom mp3 we're going to use the best quality audio we're going to say save it wants to know like every other mp3 who it is so we're going to call us our friends the hen house jammers going to type the track title which is Folsom Prison Blues and the year 2022 don't you feel old when you say it that way and at the bottom was the hen house 
So that way we know where it was in the comments and the date. 0206 2022. And we now export it. And it takes a moment. <clears throat> so now we'll go back to our our video. Now we bring the audio in. This is over here. We can look up Folsom MP3, and there it is. Now we bring it in. Now we need the audio to be synced with the video. Or if we had multiple cameras too, we could have another five cameras. Either way they're all going to have to be synced so we then highlight them <clears throat> and we bring it up. It wants to know for sure which ones we're going to use. We have camera two, three, four, five, six and any audio tracks. So it's one audio track, one camera. It makes that life easy and we say okay. So the program does its thing. It then shows us what's going on and there's our video and our audio. So we want the we want the camera to not be used as audio. So we select audio one, which is down here, the yellow. We have the camera in the blue. So then we click on this little circle. I don't know if you can see the arrow, but it's right there. That now synchronizes the audio and the video. That takes a moment. The yellow bottom bar should shift to the right a little bit. That's usually what happens. The video tends to be a little bit longer. And it did. And it works out perfect too. So we want to highlight the video. And to speed the process up because we don't have multiple cameras. We only have the one. I can say go straight to the end of the video. And say okay. What the computer just took interpreted that as just wants the whole thing, one camera. So now down here, in this area, you see I've preset some of the titling and whatnot. We'll do we'll change one title, but the rest are already there. So our camera in audio is now synced. It's in this group. So we bring this all the way down here. And boom. Now this little file here is our end audio, which has been House of the Rising Sun. Now we can see that the video and the audio are a little bit different as far as how much is there. So what I want to find is the beginning of the audio, which is right there. And I need to find the same spot in the video, which put the mouse on it. Now I want to trim the video with these little scissors. And I want to remove that little piece at the beginning because it's actually not part that we want. So it's warning us that the synchronization is going to be wrong, which we then just simply move the audio back to the beginning. And it's warning us again the synchronization because it doesn't know that we know what we're doing. So then I move the audio at the end up. Now, this is the hen house picture that we've been seeing at the beginning. And this here, I want to move the little one. So I can't see it. There we go. Okay, so the previous song we did was Hockey Tonk Woman. You see that on the screen. So now the hen house picture which is what we start the videos with. I've resized it by accident, so what I want to do up, up in here, I don't know if you can see it, it says 2915. I want that to actually say 7. 7 seconds is plenty. It could be even shorter. So I type 07. It's going to make it significantly smaller. And I'm going to move... We want to move our title track 
So the title track is going to come up in front of the band. Now we know it's Folsom Prison Blues. So we're going to get rid of Hockey Talk Woman. That was the last video we did. So Folsom Prison and we'll drop it. We'll make it a tall title. Folsom Prison Blues and we click so it goes away. We can see it now. And we want to possibly move it. We can lift it up just a little bit. We'll put it right there. Now that too, we only want to see it for about seven seconds. So we're going to put seven seconds on the timer. And it should make the file significantly smaller. There. Now from experience, the audio needs to be increased a little bit. So we're going to bring the volume up. To 120 percent. That's been pretty safe lately and that makes it about average for most devices. Now the video we've been finding it's a little bit washed out still. I've been working with Steve trying to do something with the lights the color. It's still a little too strong. We'll see what we can do and open up the color pattern so we're going to go into the color. Now I have a preset called the second set that I made. And when I apply that, the color lifted up a little bit. It's a little more crisp. It's still a little pink, but I can only do so much. To take too much color out, it won't look good. So there's our video. So I can rewind it. It jumps around a little funny when you're you're previewing it, but it ends up playing just fine. So, you have the henhouse video picture. You have the title come up. The title goes away. It sounds good. I have headphones on, so you don't hear as much. So you pause it. Now we go to the end. Make sure everything looks good at the end. So that's the end of the video. And of course, our titling comes up. We've moved most of the titling to the end of the video. People have requested that. So you get to see who's going to be involved. So, of course, a little bit of self-promotion. And there's our video. So, that's now made. So now what we have to do, we've already saved it once, so we're going to say save. Now to turn it into a usable video, we have to do what's called a batch convert. And we have to make sure the computer knows we want an MP4. So the first thing we do is switch it to an MP4. We add. We want to add the, the video file. Folsom. And we then want to make sure the options are good. So we're going to put the best compression rate for sound. We're also going to increase the, the Hertz rate. And we're going to set it to 256K, which is incredibly good sound. We then need to change the frame rate to match the camera, which is 29,970. Now we can pick a size. We can make the video full size, which would be basically huge. <laughs> Probably too big. Well, we make it small. In this case, because it's going on Facebook and it blows up fine, we're going to make it what's called 640 by 360 and we're going to do widescreen so all our video qualities here look good our audio looks good so we say OK we then say convert now this is where it takes several minutes the computer is processing all our changes and in a moment we'll save you some time because this takes a long time 
and we'll post it. Ten minutes later, <laughs> and there, it took ten minutes to convert the file, so it's now ready to be posted. So we say OK, and because I want to know where it is, I go to where the computer just put it, and it's Folsom MP4. So we're going to move it to where we want it to be, and I say cut. And we're going to go back, and here's where the other three videos that we've already posted are. We're going to paste. And there. And we just want to take one quick look, make sure that it's going to look good before we post it. And. Sounds good, looks good, everything's synced. And then, let's jump to the end, make sure the end looks good. And there you have it. What it takes to make a video, at least the condensed version. So we can pause that, and then we come over here, and we go... We looked up Johnny Cash, make sure we spelled everything properly. Here's, here's the picture from the other day. And here's our Facebook. And a bunch of people chiming in, which is great. Now we got to come up with something, some quip of some kind. What's on your mind? We didn't go to say Folsom Prison however we played some blues at the hen house So that's what it's going to say on Facebook. We didn't go to Folsom Prison, however, we played some blues at the hen house. And when I tag people, I want to move the information down. So we have Dusty. I'm glad Dusty is a tag. They're in the video, so I like the, them to see it. Anyone in the video? We have Chris Regan. We have Paul Berry, who doesn't hasn't gotten a friend request from us apparently yet. I think we did, but we'll see. And we have Stu Bork. So that's our tags. We hide them a little bit. Now we have to add our video. And we want Folsom MP4. We say open. And then we say post. And this takes a significant amount of time, so we will not torture you with that. Four means later. Anyway, that's bad. Anyway, it took four minutes to actually post. So you've now seen the condensed version of what it takes to make these videos and post them. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, have a great day. It was very hard for me to remain quiet during this whole process. <laughs>